something that we share with you today would would do that and, and you would just hear and, and, and see the need to, to have Jesus in your heart. We're going to, our service is going to be kind of a little different. So what we're going to do this morning is uh, announcements. Everything's in the bulletin if you got one. The one thing that I just want to remind you of is today is the last day to give your Annie Armstrong Easter offering. If you would like to give the Annie Armstrong Easter offering, there's some envelopes right back there. The ushers will have some of those and they can hand them to you. Or if you just want to just uh, put on your check, but make sure it's marked Annie Armstrong, and we'll make sure it gets counted. But we want to just be able to, to give that today. We've gotten some, but we still uh, are short of our mark of where we're wanting to, to get our goal. But just thank you for that, and I know there's many other things. I can't say enough this morning for our men that came early this morning, 5, 5.30 this morning, to start cooking and thank you all men for all of you all that just took part and just helped us in doing that. What a wonderful time we had. Uh, had well over 100. We never got the exact amount. Preachers like to stretch those numbers, so we'll say 150, but it wasn't that many. But, but it was well over 100 people here this morning for our sunrise service and also our meal and just a great time. And I just want to say thank you for that. In just a moment, I'm going to pray. We're going to have our offering. Our deacons, I mean our ushers will come forward is. Uh, Renee uh, shares and then I will pray and then our our uh, choir will come out shortly and they'll do the cantata and I, I just know you're going to be blessed because I have been blessed to be a part of it but again thank you for being here and just uh, just to worship our Lord and Savior today Father we just thank you so much for all that you've done Lord as we come this Sunday morning as we were seeing, Lord, a lot of things that took place on that Friday. Lord, it, it was very disturbing and, and it breaks your heart. But Father, for Christians today, all Sunday has come. Lord, the tomb is now empty. Jesus is not there. But Lord, as everybody I hope here knows that he's standing here waiting for us to come to him. And Lord God, that's our prayer today as we share in song and share in music. Lord God, that you would just uh, speak to the hearts of every one of us. No matter where we are at in our walk, we just pray, Father God, that we would hear you speak. We commit this time to you. We pray for our offering. We pray for all that are, have given that. And we just pray, Father God, as, as we give back a portion of what you've blessed us with, that you would bless these gifts for the up the building of thy kingdom. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Would our ushers come forward and she'll uh, start playing and we'll have our offertory prayer. Offertory uh, collection.
Hallelujah, Jesus is alive. Through the cross of Christ, everything that kept us bound has been destroyed. Everything that would have separated us from God has been defeated. And every promise of abundant life has become ours. This is the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. When the time for Passover came, Jesus sent Peter and John to make preparations for the meal. That night, as he ate with his closest friends, the one whose body would be broken for them, whose blood would be poured out to cover their sins, offered them the bread and the wine. Though he knew he would die for them the next day, Jesus celebrated because the Father had provided deliverance and salvation the way he always does.
cross. It is arguably the most recognized symbol in history. Before Jesus died, its very mention brought to mind images of punishment and torture and death. But ever since that day, the cross has said one thing. God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him will have eternal life.
just imagine how it was for Mary, Peter, and John. For all those who witnessed it, the unmistakable evidence of the re resurrection that day. For the rest of their lives, they must have told the story again and again and again. And they had gr the great joy of sharing what they saw. What they did and how they felt the moment they knew without a doubt that Jesus was alive. All of us who, whose faith is grounded in Christ have a testimony to share with the world. It's this. We owe our lives to Jesus, to his love and his grace. Our hopes are anchored to his cross. Our future is secure because of his resurrection. He is the way, the truth, and the life.
Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Tell you what, won't you stay standing, Renee? I didn't ask you, but <laughs> will you play just something? I can't let something when God's message has been preached through song go on at least without an invitation. You've heard the blood. The blood still 
is alive today. Yes, the blood amen. still has the power. Amen. And that cross that we were singing about is that bridge that gets us as sinners to a saving God. So I ask you today, what we were singing, will you see that Savior? Will you be with the King when that time comes? Or do you need to make that decision here this morning? I don't know what God's doing, but every eye closed, I just want to give you a chance. If there's someone here today that doesn't know Jesus Christ as their Savior, what better day to receive them than Easter, than Easter Sunday morning? Won't you come? Won't you come to the cross? I mentioned this morning the tomb is empty. All God's people said? Amen. Wow, aren't you glad you came today? Yes. Hey, yes. Man, did, Amen. Did the choir not do a great job? Let's just. Yeah. <laughs> There's applause in heaven, I can tell you that. It is. So, and it's, a, it's okay to clap in church, okay? Especially when God's glorified. And that's Amen. what our choir's done Amen. today is just going, thank you, Connie. I know it's, uh, I always, I'm partial. Yes, she doesn't have any children at home. We're in the empty nest, so she dressed me on this Easter Sunday morning. <laughs> but thank you again for all the hard work. I know that it's been a lot of work, and it's been just a, a great time. And I tell you what, a great message. And I tell you what, a wonderful day we've had from our sunrise service. And God just made a perfect setting out there for us this morning to our breakfast and our Sunday school hour to just a great number that's here. I might put up a number a while ago, 155. What a great number of people here at Aceville Baptist Church. Amen. We just give him the glory. Amen. Okay? Hallelujah. And then we just want to say thank you. And we hope you have a great Easter. I just, I just, a while ago when I was praying, I failed to mention a few. Pray for Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert's not able to be with us. He's still not feeling well. His back is still giving him some problems. Be praying for Mr. Roberts. He'll be going to the doctor this week. Shelly, glad to see you back Amen. after your surgery Amen. this week. Johnny, always good to see you, brother. And uh, continue to pray for Mark, Mark Murdoch, uh, in our prayers. We know that they need it. Julie got good news this week, if you didn't know, Amen. that the Amen. test come back. So thank you, Lord, for that. And just many others that need our prayers. Mm -hmm. And I just want us to close here this morning with a prayer of thanksgiving, not only for all the prayers that he has answered and in, in the prayers that we need answered in the future, but what he has done for us as lost people. Father God, we thank you so much. Oh, what a wonderful day. I just want to stay here all day, Lord, because you're here and I can feel your presence. And what a wonderful place to be is in your presence. Lord, I thank you for all that have been here today, maybe that some have come and had to leave, and the ones that have come, and Lord, the number that you've given us today, Lord, we just praise you for it. And Lord, we can't wait to get back together again Wednesday night and then next week. Father, we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the message that our choir, <coughs> choir has just sang and, and told us, Lord. And, and Father God, we thank you for Jesus because we know that we would not be able to be here and celebrate the, this if, if it wasn't for him. We thank you that you loved us so much that before time even began, you created and made way for us to have a Savior. Thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. Thank you for this great Easter day. Be with us now as we go. Watch over us. Take care of us. And let us go what the choir had just sung. Let us go and tell the good news that Jesus is alive. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. I do want to thank the men in the back. Y'all were great. Thank yes. you. Yes. Sing with you. Sing with me because you live. Because you live.